If you want to learn something hard, if you want to do something that is difficult, you have to have a plan, you have to have the best resources, and you have to take action. I get emails every single day from people all over the world, and the emails are very similar. Most of the time, someone is trying to find out what the best course of action to take is to learn subject XYZ. You know, what's the best book I can use for algebra? How many problems should I do from the back of the book? How many hours a day should I study? A lot of times people have a hard time focusing and they want to know what can they do to focus better. And all of these are great questions, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about a much bigger concept, a much bigger goal, because you can have all the plans in the world. You can have the best resources, the best teacher, but if you don't take action, if you don't start actually doing, you're never going to get where you want to get. You can have the best ideas, but if you don't act on them, nothing is going to come from it. They're just going to be ideas and that's all they ever will be. So there are three core things that you need. And I'm going to start with the easiest in this video. And once you have these three things, you can accomplish anything. You can do anything. Let's start with the first one, because the first one is the easiest to get. And you can get it right now, and I'll show you how to get it. It's, it's easy, but it's fleeting. It's motivation. A lot of times people will send me emails. They'll say, oh, you know, I'm having a hard time staying motivated. That's normal. Motivation is fleeting. It comes and goes. You're not going to be motivated to do mathematics every single day. That's just not how human beings work. You know, most people don't wake up every day and say, oh, <laughs> I'm going to do math today. You know, every single day, you're going to have some bad days. And it's how you respond on those bad days that separate whether or not you're going to succeed or whether or not you're going to fail. You need to learn to work when you're least motivated. But motivation is great. I'm not saying it's bad. Motivation, it's like a spark to the fire. You know, once you get motivated, you are ready to go. On, on those days that you're motivated to work, you should work as hard as you possibly can. On the days I'm motivated, I will, I will do math. I'll make a YouTube video. I'll, I'll go for a run. You know, I'll do, I'll have a great, super productive day if I'm feeling motivated. And you should do that too. So use that motivation. So how do you get motivated? Well, I don't know, watch a video, watch a math movie. You know, it's pretty easy to get motivated. We have all kinds of stuff on the internet. There's all kinds of motivational videos and stuff you can watch that make you feel good and get you motivated. But you don't want to rely on that because motivation is fleeting. So what you need is discipline. A discipline is, is the ability to, you know, work consistently every day on something. That's how I view it. You know, every day. So if you do math every day, you are disciplined. Every single day, even when you're not motivated. The easiest way, at least in my life, and from what I've seen in others, is to do something every day, even just a little bit. So let's say you're trying to learn, let's just pick calculus, because a lot of people want to learn calculus. If you do at least one calculus problem every day, it's going to help build that discipline because it's going to help you turn it into a habit. Some people might say, why just one? Why not 30 minutes or an hour? Well, well, sure, it's better to do more. And on those days when you have that motivation or, or when you can find that motivation, when you can find that spark to push harder, certainly you should use it and, and do more. But if you tell yourself that you're going to sit down and do one problem or rather at least one problem, then you're more likely to do it on those days when you're not motivated. I mean, think about that. Say you wake up, you have your coffee, you have breakfast, and you have half an hour before you have to go to work or school. You say, hey, well, I'm going to sit down and do my math problem for the day. And so you sit down and you do your problem. Lots of people do this, but they do it with other things. You know, they do crosswords, they do puzzles. It's the same thing. But math is different. Math is deeper. You know, mathematics is not like a crossword puzzle. Discipline. 
Work your best when you're least motivated. Now, it's easy to say this. It's easy for me to tell you, you know, work hard when you're motivated. And on days when you're not motivated, you need discipline. And you need to build discipline by, you know, making it a daily habit. That's what I'm trying to get across here. But you're not going to be able to do any of that if you don't have space for discipline in your mind. If you have anything in your mind that's kind of like lingering, you're not going to have a place. Discipline's not going to fit into it. You have to declutter your mind. And that's and that's that's the hardest thing. That's the third thing I want to talk about. By having a clear head, by getting your head right, you, you can fit discipline into that. Because if, if you have something, and all it takes is one thing, you can have a bad interaction at work, uh, some drama with a family member or a significant other, it, it's very easy for people to get thrown off and very easy for people to lose focus. You need to have a clear head. And when you clear your head, when you build that mental strength, that's when you can start fitting discipline into your mind. You can start working on discipline. But you have to have your mind clear. You have to, you have, to have focus. And that comes just from being self-aware. Being self-aware that you're trying to accomplish your goals. You're trying to get better at, let's say, calculus. So you have to be disciplined. So you have to do it every day. So you need to basically block out all negative outside influences that are cluttering your mind. So how do you do that? Many people meditate. Many people exercise. People have different strategies. But the key point I want to make is you need these three things in order to succeed in anything, right? Motivation, it's wonderful when we have it. Discipline, the ability to work when you don't want to. Build a routine. Do it every day. Stick to it. Just a little bit every day will take you a long way. And lastly, and most importantly, have space in your mind so that you can actually you know, perform on a daily basis, even when you're distracted. Those, I think, are the three core principles for learning anything and being able to, in theory, accomplish anything. Motivation, discipline, and above all, having you know, a clear headspace. You want to be able to actually be able to say, hey, I'm supposed to be disciplined today. I'm supposed to do some math today, so I'm going to do it. And, and this applies to anything in life. It's not just mathematics. You can apply this to anything. What do you think? Do you have advice for people watching this video? If you do, leave a comment. People read the comments, and when you leave positive comments, it really helps other people. Also, I have an Instagram. It's the real math sorcerer. It's kind of fun because um, I can post anything there. It's just like a fun, low effort uh, platform where I can use cool music. <laughs> so it makes it fun. And if you're trying to learn math, I do have courses. Check out my website. It's mathsorcerer.com or also freemathvids.com. And if you check out my courses, make sure to use my website. The courses are actually on the Udemy, Udemy platform, but go through my website, please, if you do. And I've set the prices in the courses at the lowest possible price uh, that Udemy lets me set them. So, yeah. Anyways, hopefully this has been helpful. And just remember, when you're motivated, work hard. When you're not motivated, try to build discipline. Do at least one problem a day. And above all, declutter your mind. Find your focus. Find reasons why it matters to you. And that will help you clear your mind, help you realize that you need to have a clear head. You need to be disciplined. I hope it's been helpful. Now go do some math.